Well, folks, we are officially in Kissimmee, right on the edge here where this uh, Burger King is. There is US 192. If you keep going in that direction, you're gonna run right into the downtown Kissimmee area, Disney World, etc., etc. Right down that road, a lot of memories. Specifically though, we are here at the Osceola Heritage Park, which is uh, the fairgrounds here in Kissimmee. They do rodeos here, apparently, but uh, we're not here, not here to uh, see a rodeo. I'm, I don't, I don't think at least, I'm pretty sure. This sign here explains it all. We are at the event center for Super RetroCon. Very awesome. The signage is nice and bright and colorful, just like the 80s. Very retro. Very, uh, some would say, super retro. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. Uh, as I have pointed out, we are here in Kissimmee for Super Retro Con. We're here with Tampa J as well. I am so, so, so excited for this convention. Uh, I think it's going to have basically everything that is up my alley, everything up your alley. Yep, I, I came out here last year and you're going to love it. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'm pretty sure that was one of the first videos that I watched of yours. Awesome, yeah, it was a good time. Too, well, let's put it so. this way. Last year was pretty good, so hopefully. This year will maybe even be better. That's, we'll see. That's what it's all about. Fingers We're going to go experience it see yeah. what it's like. So this event happens once a day, one once day a year. Only. Yep, today is Sunday. <laughs> the tickets will be... $20 per person and um, yeah so if you like what you see in the upcoming video well check it out for next year again very fitting that it's here in Kissimmee right behind us here 192 this is where you grew up this is where I grew up so retro. I'm already feeling <laughs> very nostalgic but uh, okay I promised that I would make this super quick because there's lots to do inside there's and we want to get in there so yeah. okay already it just opened yeah it just opened so all right yeah. let's go right off the bat I wanted to say thank you so much to Pristonian for sponsoring the coffee for this video thank you so much for your support and thank you for the coffees really 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 appreciate it and I hope that you enjoy this video as we uh gaze upon a DeLorean here. Very cool. Out of time. Very cool. Yeah, if you look inside, there's the hoverboard. Here's a little model of the uh, time machine there. And also Marty's hat in the back there. Always thought that was a really cool hat. Very cool. But yeah, as uh, we were just noticing, there's no flex capacitor in there. So it can't, it can't go back in time. There's no Mr. Fusion there either, but still, very cool to see. Here's some signage. It's March 6, 2022 Super Retro Con, a totally mental event. Looks like we've got toys, comics, retro gear, video games. So I am so, so, so excited for this. We're also already greeted by some neon MTV signs. I want my MTV. Jay has uh, secured the ticket and the wristband for this event. Thank you. You're welcome. So this ticket's for a raffle. Oh, it's for a they're raffle. Gonna, they're gonna raffle off that boombox at oh, 3 p.m. Oh, cool. Looks like a Mandalorian here, Stormtrooper, and uh, Iron Man. Very, um, rather interesting lineup of characters we have here, right behind the ticket booth. Annie! Misa, so happy to be seeing you. Of course, out of all of the Annie, uh, Anakin Skywalker quotes that I had to come up with, it had to be a Jar Jar one. What can I say? We are heading inside of the actual convention area now, and holy moly, it is huge. I'm gonna have to okay. do it twice, so okay. Yeah, camera which one? one? Which camera one? Two. Which one? We're yeah. doing this both camera at the same two. time. Yeah. World of Micah, everyone. Hi. 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 Good Hi. to see you again, as always. Good to see you. I like your retro Halloween 2 t-shirt. Yeah, Thanks, nice. man. This, I love this one. Doesn't get a lot of love, just like Halloween 3. Yep. Two's so good. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It feels like the same night. The way they shot it. It is the same awesome. night. Yeah. It looks and feels like it, even feels though it's like a couple it. years later. Yeah, a couple years later. Love it. Yeah. Good to see you both. Yeah. yeah. I was out hanging with you last year. Yep. Out here. So. I can't believe it's been a year. And this year, first yeah, time. Yeah, and it's my first time. Dude. So excited. Yep. Yeah, I'm already like it. overloaded with everything. So. <laughs> you haven't even stepped in. I, I know. Stopped you. I know. We barely got here. Okay, we're going. Explore. We're venturing forward. As you can see, 
this room is rather large, lots and lots of vendors out here selling all kinds of things. I already see comics, there were some Legos back that way. I see some Barbies over here, glasses, lots of Star Wars stuff of course. There's gonna be all kinds of stuff here. I am so excited. I'm not sure, does anybody give Barbies any love on YouTube? I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna give them some love really quick here. I, uh, I owned a few Barbies back in the day. I actually had a Baywatch Barbie. This was pretty cool. The uh, dolphin actually like squeaked. There was like a little lever on there where the dolphin squeaked. I don't think I had this exact one, but definitely very similar. And interesting how it used to be $10. Now it's 15. Mary Poppins. A Mary Poppins one too. Oh, that's so awesome. That's actually kind of tempting. I'm not even gonna lie. I have to uh, stop by these cups here really quick. Always love seeing vintage cups. Here's a Return of the Jedi one. That's pretty rad. But also these cups up here. I like this one especially because there's a there's an Ewok on it. This is pretty cool. Look at this uh, itchy and scratchy toy here. It looks like uh, Itchy ripped out Scratchy's heart. There's the heart. And then it's so funny because then he reads the news, you need a heart to live, and then that's when he dies. Oh, that's so awesome. $70. This guy has been catching my eye since I walked in. It's uh, Ronald McDonald with half a face here wearing a uh, Burger King apron. Interesting. There's also a Radio Shack sign here that you can actually buy. Looks like it's $300, that alone. Very, very retro. Happen to pick up this flyer if you are interested in uh, toys, action figures, Funko Pops, things like that. There are a few more shows happening, looks like here, right here in the Orlando area. So check this out and save the nope. dates. Do it twice, okay. yeah, so you don't have to do it twice, that's all. We yeah, have my pal cameras. Adam the Woo, of course. Yes. Back for RetroCon. We were here last year. What? I would not even have known this was happening today if you would not have told me. Yep. I figured I'd give you the heads up. I know you'd want to be here. This is right up your alley. Certain events, sometimes there's so many of them, I get forgetful yeah. in my old age. So you reminded me, so thank you. Well, you're welcome. And now yeah. I'm going to spend way too much money, and you will get the credit card bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I guess I owe you a hot dog or two. <laughs> Yeah. And it's also my first time meeting you in person, yes, so yeah, it's go. a pleasure. Very, very happy to meet you. And I love your shirt, by the way. That is awesome. Bar, I figure if yeah. you're going to go to a retro con, Bart Simpson is the way to do it. I yeah. where you bought that. That was uh, North Carolina? It was in, where was it? Myrtle Beach, Myrtle South, Beach Carolina. South Carolina. Oh. One of the Carolinas. There, okay. there is a full-size Quickie Mart there. That's right. She's a huge That's Simpsons right. Fan. I am a huge Simpsons yeah, fan. Yeah, full-size Quickie Mart. Yeah. Outside of Universal. Yeah, go figure. It might be the only Quickie Mart. It's not on Universal property. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. That's very retro. Okay, this is a really awesome booth over here. I could definitely drop quite a lot of coinage. We were just admiring the Jar Jar here. $50. He's really cool and really, really creepy. And he's also like partially a plush. Oh my gosh, he talks. And he vibrates. He talks and he vibrates. Oh, he does? He does, yeah. He's got a little button here. Did you hear him? And he vibrated. What's that, Jar Jar? I don't think you can hear it. But yeah, he you... says, I'm the most underrated character in Star Wars. <laughs> and I know the dark side. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a really cool uh, Hercules doll here. That's pretty cool. One of my most favorite Disney movies of oh, all time. Cool. Also kind of underrated. As the uh, announcer goes on, I noticed this Jar Jar toy here as well. This is really cool. It looks like his head moves and his tongue moves as well. It's got a button here, but uh, it's not working. Man, that is awesome. Right over here by the VHSs, I wanted to point out this little alien. Very retro in and of itself. Remember when these were everywhere in the 90s? I would buy that. Look at this little elf doll. Oh, he's so cute. Only $25 from 1988. There is a gizmo trapped in this bag here. 1984, only $10. All you uh, popcorn bucket fans, here is a Mickey Hitchhiking Ghost popcorn bucket. I actually picked this one up when they were selling it uh, in the parks way, way, way back in the day. That was, uh, 
That was quite a few years ago. It's a Cartman plushie here. That's pretty awesome. No, kitty, that's my Popeye. Anyone remember that one? That was one of my favorite episodes. And it's not just toys and collectibles and things like that here. They're also doing BMX stuff here. I, I don't, I don't know, but uh, we're gonna go check that out now. Show you some of his favorite maneuvers out here. Now this setup is a little tight, a little tight than what we're used to. And so far, wow. for a jump, not bad. This box jump we have here is usually twice as long. We usually have twice as much distance here. Travel. Check out Dylan. Huge boat. He was claiming his foot was injured. I don't know. I don't see the uh, evidence of that. He had shows last night. He tweaked his ankle a little bit, but doesn't seem to be slowing him down one bit. All right, now he's BMX back on course. Huge tire grab it looks like there. Clearing the whole box. Check out Dylan Carter blasting to the moon. And up and over, huge turn down. Getting that bike, clicking it sideways. Dylan coming back at it. Full cranking, full throw. Big position with some style. A lot of style, right? Making it look good, that's cool. I like that pro bike. Wheel. Clearing the handlebar, pumping for some speed. Like dancing on a bike, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Weaver. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. This is pretty cool. There's a bunch of magic cards here, actually. It looks like they're all signed. I'm not really sure by who. Actually, it may be the, uh, the creator, or the illustrator, rather of these cards. That's really awesome. I have to admit, I don't know too much about the real Ghostbusters, but if Tampa J was here, he could probably explain a little more, but it's interesting that this is $50 for the box. Box only, so this must be, uh, this must be pretty rare. I didn't own this myself when I was a child, but oh boy, what I would have liked to. I loved and still do love Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. One of my favorite Disney movies. Oh yeah, I would have really liked this. Got some Power Rangers stuff over here. That's awesome. I was a huge, huge fan of the Power Rangers. Child of the 90s, who wasn't? I thought this was pretty interesting. This booth has a bunch of old party supplies. There's some napkins here. There are some, uh, looks like He-Man hats. Yeah, these are definitely hats. These are invitations here, cups. That is awesome. You can, uh, oh, real Ghostbusters uh, little uh, party favors here as well. Oh yeah, and plates. That is awesome. <laughs> Looking at this and I was like, oh, if only Tampa J was here to explain okay, why the so box only is $50. The box only? Yeah. Because that is mint. And if anyone has this toy, which a lot of people from the 80s, like myself, which they still had, uh -huh. they would want the box to make it complete. Yeah. I didn't have the uh, copter, uh -huh. but my cousin Brandon did. Okay. But one thing I did have, I, I had the Play-Doh set, but one oh, thing I cool. still have yeah. is my firehouse. Ah, I didn't even notice the firehouse in the I, back there. I still have mine. That's so awesome. Yeah. We're going to have to pull that out. It, so yeah. I need, the, I need some parts. That's fine. The parts are very expensive. Uh huh. We can rebuild. It's we fine. Rebuild. Ooh, Furby. Okay, who had a Furby back in the day? Let me know in the comments below. I had a Furby. Oh, I was so excited when I got mine. These were creepy, right? This is absolutely I've never seen that before. adorable. This is so cute. It's the little, like, it's not a piano, but like the keyboard player yeah. from uh, Java's Palace. That's right, yeah. I, I, at first glance, I was like, oh, look at that elephant. And then I saw the Star Wars. Tag. I knew exactly what it was. I need this. I might need this. How much is it? I don't know. It doesn't say, but I might need. I, I it's might need to get this. There's some pretty cool action figures here. Big, uh, eclectic bunch of action figures. Willy Wonka. There's a uh, ape from Planet of the Apes. Werewolf guy here. Oh, Superman. Nosferatu. The mommy. Okay, this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It is a E.T. costume. It's a uh, flame retarded. I'm not really sure why they had to uh, explain that, but here we are. Uh, I'm like speechless. 
This is amazing. Why do I want it? One of the neat things about these uh, conventions as well, one of the many neat things, is um, not just if you're buying stuff, but also if you have a large collection of items, toys, action figures, Funko Pops, it kind of gives you an idea of what people are interested in, what they are willing to uh, pay to buy for things. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If you, uh, you're thinking about participating, maybe you have a large collection, you're looking to get rid of some stuff, this could be a good possibility for you. You know I have to point out my Jar Jars whenever I see them. This one is uh, in keychain form, and it looks like he's got a he's got a boba. It's a great idea. Candyland, Willy Wonka themed. Two, two great things. Yeah, it's uh, makes it sense. makes a lot of sense. We do have some food items here as well. We are over at the concession stand. I'm feeling kind of hungry, and they have pretty much your basic stuff here. I think I'm gonna go with. Pretzel. Just wanted to show off some Lord of the Rings action figures here. Wanted to give this series a little bit of love. One of my all-time favorite movie trilogies of all time. I didn't mind The Hobbit either. That was okay. This is really neat. There is a Queen Amidala uh, doll here. I actually used to have this exact same one myself. She was my favorite character from episode one back in the day. Good to see that again. Winning out my Jar Jars. Jar Jar! Here's another one. This one's got a shield. That's <laughs> awesome. And we've got some game consoles here as well. Video game consoles. Looks like we got some Game Boy Colors. This is the exact same one that I had as well. Also, Donkey Kong 64 played this game. Yeah. So, so, so much drove my parents crazy with this game. And that, that was yours? That was my 64 game right yeah. there. All my friends play that. That uh -huh. was like your very first like multiplayer shooter yeah. kind of game, yeah. Gotcha. So celebrities out here as well. There's some people that do uh, voice characters and also illustrators, I'm assuming, as well. So very cool. Lots and lots and lots of stuff out here at Super RetroCon. Cycle t-shirt. Um, dog bandanas or pet bandanas. I started making them for my kitty cat, so I got my Those are cool. Yeah. I really love it. And then I even I found that my kids. Oh, I got it right here. It's down. Thanks, Chris. Right here. Oh, that's cute. A, that's adorable. So my kids' shirts were so small, I couldn't uh -huh. make a satchel bag out of it. So I just want to do a test run on some more sustainable fashion. Yeah. Very good. That's Ooh, great. That is adorable. Yeah. 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 So I'm excited. And I started so. sewing at my booth. So what I do is I do sponges. Oh, oh <laughs> cute. You can see that everything's handmade. That's adorable. Yeah. I only sell right now at shows. But okay. you can catch me on social media. Great. Scrap the catwalk right there. Yeah, scrap the catwalk. Everything scrap goes back on the catwalk. Oh, I, like that. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you for chatting oh, with us. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> of course. And I actually went ahead and purchased a bracelet from the very same booth. I always actually really wanted a bracelet just like this. The sorry, the leather one here. This one, the studded one. Um, and so I decided to pick one up. It's always good to support local uh, local businesses and artists and whatnot, so what a perfect time to grab something. Oh wow, does anybody remember these cups here that you could get at the Taco Bell? Did you grab those at oh, some point? Yeah. Oh yeah, I actually loved, I loved that movie. I have I no know. shame, I really enjoyed them. You liked that one? I did, I'm not gonna lie, I have no shame. Yeah, I wish I was keeping track of how many uh, Jar Jars I saw today, but here's another one. When he's stealing the thing from uh, or Saboba, grabs the thing from his uh, mouth or something like that. I don't remember. I haven't seen the movie in a long time, but yeah. Jar Jar. Here we go. Classic. This appears to be a Ash Ketchum uh, costume sort of deal here. You get a Pikachu, you get his hat. That's pretty cool. My brother would have liked this. Also lots and lots of Disney pins I'm noticing as well. I myself have quite a few Disney pins. Probably nothing actually worthwhile. But I did collect a couple, a few, back in the day. But yeah, lots 
lots of Disney pins, lots of Tinkerbell ones and uh, Rapunzel ones right here. They have all kinds, and not just at this stand either, but at a bunch of other ones as well. This is pretty interesting, it caught my eye. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and they are some action figures in there, but the box is actually what caught my eye because it looks like a pizza box. See the receipt up there? Yeah, that's that's really cool. I like it just for the box alone. As I kind of mentioned before, there are tons and tons of video games out here as well, I'm sure. Very retro ones. Now, me, myself, I was, uh, was more of a PC gamer. Um, we didn't have a console until we got an N64 way back in the day, but um, my brother was more of the the, uh, the console person, and yeah, I was, a, I was a PC gamer. Being said, we did have a Wii. We had a Wii console as well, um, and I did play the Wii quite, quite a lot. I'm not seeing any games in here that I played because I played the boring ones, like Wii Music, <laughs> and like really geeky ones uh, is what I enjoyed, but um, but we did have a Wii, that's the point. I have to do just a quick sweep of some of the uh, Funko Pops that you can get. I have quite a few Pops myself, uh, not as much as a lot of people, but I do have a few. Oh, here's the Dapper Dan's. Aw, that's so cute. And I was eyeing this one when I was eating my pretzel earlier. This is really cool, a State Puff Marshmallow Man. It's a Japanese final, actually. I'm surprised it's only $35, but it caught my eye because of the back. It was this really cool neon Stay Puff. Actually, I love the box of this. This is really cool. See here, this is what I'm talking about. This is a Madame Leota pop figure here. They want $50 for it. I actually have, I have two of these. I have one in the box and one out of the box. So now I have an idea of how much mine is worth, which is great for what for uh, these conventions to get a sense of those sort of things. Oh, kiss. She went ahead and stepped outside for just a minute. Break away from the craziness of the inside, kind of wanted to feel the sun, <laughs> touch some grass for a second. Uh, just a lot going on in there, but um, I wanted to say really quick that having an awesome time. This sort of convention is right up my alley. I love this sort of thing. Um, I love sci-fi conventions too. I love horror conventions as well, all kinds of conventions. Um, but I really like the toy ones, the collectible ones especially because uh, I have a lot of them myself and um, I've been to quite a few before pre-vlogging and um, that's how I picked up a lot, a whole lot of, uh, of my own personal collections. So um, really cool to be back at one again, to be able to take you all along with me, um, pick out some of the stuff that, that I really like, that, uh, that catches my eye. And um, I wanted to say thank you for watching as well uh just right in the middle here of the video we're probably near the end actually now and uh i know there's there's probably going to be a decent amount of videos out there to watch a decent amount of vlogs met uh and um ran into uh quite a few vloggers today and spotted quite a few vloggers today also uh shout out to micah and adam um micah i've met a few times before such a great guy and um, Adam met for the first time today. So very cool, shout out to them. Very nice to hang out with them. Um, it's an honor, actually. Um, but anyway, I wanted to say thank you to all of you for watching this video, for clicking on my video and watching it and wanting to maybe find out what I thought of the event, what I picked out at the event, etc., etc. That means a lot to me. Um, I really appreciate that. So I wanted to say that really quick. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the video is me going to this event like I would like a normal person, obviously, and uh, choosing and picking out what catches my eye at them. But uh, yeah, feels good to step outside for just a second. It's a really nice, beautiful day out as it has been here lately. 
in Florida and they give you a wristband so you can uh, pop in and out. I imagine to, if you buy like a lot of stuff, you can go to your car, <laughs> put it back in your car. But uh, okay, I'm gonna go back in there. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to say hello and thank you to all of the people that have come up to us as well and said hello, uh, subscribers and fans of the channel and whatnot. I really appreciate that as well. Thank you so much. We love it when, when you all come up and say hi to us. We really appreciate that. So thank you. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to say for right now. I'm gonna go back in there. Okay, let's go. Finally found some books. Some books here at RetroCon and I had to pick up the Ghostbusters 2 book. That's legit. Well, oh, like, yeah, it's I picked hand. it. Yeah, it is It is in my Earthquake. hand. Yeah, that Earthquake. Oh, that is so Spectacular, cool. wasn't it? All you saw was a special effects team. <laughs> I would think of Earthquake the Ride <laughs> yeah. Universal. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. I got to be one of the volunteers. Right the back there. This is cool. There is a uh, Dharma fish biscuit here. Anybody a fan of Lost, the TV show Lost? Have you ever seen Lost? Uh, no, I've actually never watched that. I know. I think I've seen like an episode. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Not, not really. We'll have to work on that. But yeah, that's awesome. A little fish biscuit. Green Lantern fans here, you can also buy some some rings. Your own Green Lantern rings, Green Lantern core rings, I should say. These are always really cool to see. See them in a lot of comic book shops as well. Oh, wow. An everlasting gobstopper. In Wonka bars. In Wonka, I, I, looked, I saw the everlasting gobstopper and completely missed over the Wonka bars. Yeah, and I saw this earlier and I didn't get a chance to check it out, but I had to show Dungeons and Dragons, the game. I believe this is, I want to say it's a board game, not the actual like role play game. Could be wrong, but that's always cool to see. Big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. Also, this uh, really old school uh, Mario plush. Slightly terrifying, only $25. Found a cute little Ewok book here. This is adorable. Looks like a children's book with Ewoks. That's adorable. I'm not sure how I missed this, but here is a uh, really creepy little clown doll. It's actually quite large. $45. That's really cool. I like that. Very creepy. I think uh, Jay, may, Jay may not be such a fan of it, but yeah, that is that's gnarly. A couple things on this shelf here that I have to point out. Obviously the gremlins there, but there's there's some Planet of the Apes dolls. If you watch uh, back there, the I'll zoom in for you. I like the name of this. I want this. Yeah, I know. I was looking at that too. They also so have really cool stickers here. So this is pretty awesome. Check it out. Beetlejuice. Classic. Love that cartoon. I think with that, we are going to head out of RetroCon now. We have walked up and down these aisles several times. Had a really good time. Fortunately, didn't uh, buy too much stuff. Our wallets are thanking us, but yeah, very awesome convention. Really, really glad that we came out here. All right, folks, well, that's going to do it for today. We had an awesome, awesome, awesome time at RetroCon. Amazing time. Yes, yes, we did. Did you really? Because that was all I was hoping for. I was hoping that you have the most amazing, awesome time in there. Because I had that with you. Sorry, I'm like hijacking. Well, you, you, you achieved video. it. It was achieved. I really did have a great time. Like I was saying earlier, it's one of my favorite types of conventions. All of the collectibles. Yep. It's really cool. Yeah, really difficult to not spend a lot of money in there. But <laughs> somehow we didn't. I did get this guy. Yep. Spoiler alert. I had to. I had to get him. He's so cute. He's a gonna, musician too. He is. Yeah, he's a musician. He played the, played the keyboards at uh, Jawa's Palace, if I'm not mistaken. So, played him well. yeah, he did play them well. All right, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, hopefully you all had a great time. Uh, shout out to Micah and Adam, as I said before. So great catching up with them. Be sure to check out that their videos. Cool. Yeah, um, and of course, Tampa J had his camera here as well. Right here. Yep, right, right there. Here. That Thank one. you. Right appreciate there. It. So make sure you check out his video as well. I know that we both captured quite a lot of different 
stuff yeah. at this convention. Diverse. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see your footage, quite frankly. Um, I'm so to see yours. yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna head out now. We're actually going to go down 192 that way that I was pointing out earlier at the beginning of the video, and we're gonna do some uh, nostalgia retro sightseeing. Give me your tour. Yeah. Show me where you grew up. <sighs> yep. Oh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Probably won't vlog it. Not yet, at least. Not yet. It's my first oh, time. It, yeah, it really seriously could be a whole video. Um, I Subscribe spent below. so Give it a up. <laughs> I spent so many years here uh, in Kissimmee, driving up and down 192. So it's my first time actually that I will be driving down that way in years quite a long long time so i'm excited and nervous to see what has changed so we will see but okay long-winded outro i wanted to make it quick but of course i can't do that thank you all so much again for watching really really appreciate it we'll see you all next time bye 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 <laughs> that's the thing is like i i really seriously like, I can see it in my mind's eye. I can see you inside of that building. And, yeah, it's just, it's bananas to me. Um, I was definitely inside that building. Yeah, that building right there. This church, church. the North Kissimmee Baptist Christian School uh, as well here in Kissimmee. Um, Jay was just doing the uh, lowdown of this in his video. Now we're driving through for a second time for mine because... This is a huge part of my history here in Kissimmee. I was in a, a punk slash ska band back in the day, a Christian ska band actually, and we both played several shows at played, this venue. Probably yeah. three or four at least. Uh-huh, um, yeah. Played with a band. I played in a band called Strength of What Remains, but uh -huh. we played with Take It Back, is a popular Christian kind of hardcore band uh -huh. at the time. Uh -huh. back then but i have this memory i swear i've seen you in there we're yeah. talking about that yeah i know we've crossed paths we we were yeah. the same band scene and exactly you know we talked about that when we first started dating like it's very unique you meet someone that knew what that was like uh-huh and what that scene was like yeah it was a very small music scene here in florida in the late 2000s yeah it's um, um lot a lot of memories we've we've discussed a lot of our stories with that, maybe someday I'll go into more detail on all of that stuff. But yeah, very interesting. Yep. Yeah, it looks like churches. Right in there. All the out now. Back. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, scooch up there. I want to show where we uh, dropped off the equipment yeah, as well because I remember that the too. Band trailers yep. over here. Right in that uh, grassy spot. Right, up right there. in there. That's the stage back there, yep. of course. The stage was in the back of the building there. There's a door way in the back there yep we load up everything right through right through there okay. so pretty uh pretty crazy it's okay. uh i didn't really mention it in my video but this uh -huh. has changed a lot these streets have been widened yes so much has changed in the last decade probably, yeah i've probably 13 12 13 years ago was last yeah time I was out here this whole yeah this whole spot here we they almost drove we almost drove right past it because it doesn't look the There's same really at all, all like, like over here yeah. yeah that over there so pretty nuts yeah i had to share had to share that on mine as well our, our paths have crossed many times in the past before it's yeah. really cool we to each other uh, at the grand canyon by three days uh-huh yep and lots and we have lots of other stories of near misses as well so very cool just wanted to share that with y'all. Alrighty. Bye everybody. Thanks for sticking towards the end. See you next time.